Stony Brook Volleyball's 2022 season is right around the corner and we're hanging out in Pritchard Gym with the Seawolves head coach, Coach Belzun. Coach, always a pleasure. How are you doing? Good to see you, Sam. Good. Yeah, it's year six. Can you believe it? The journey continues. <laughs> Cannot believe that. It feels like it was just yesterday that we got here. And it's a new chapter, joining a new league in the CAA. What kind of opportunity does that present for your program? Yeah, it's a really good one. The CAA is a, is a really good volleyball league. It's a tough competitive league. It's a, a significantly more deep league for us. So we're excited for the challenge. I think, um, you know, we're trying to walk in with no expectations and just kind of be curious going into the season. And um, yeah, we're excited to see what challenges it brings us. You do have two familiar opponents in the league at the top of the schedule. Yep. Obviously, Towson's been on the schedule a little bit. They're kind of the cream of the crop. Yep. And then we know Hofstra pretty well. How about that, getting to open up with two teams that you've seen before? Yeah, nice to know that we um, just have some familiarity with them as much as anything. And, uh, you know, they've obviously been really good competitors in the past. And we're excited to start with the top and um, just kind of level set what the expectation is. And, you know, the, the goal is to build to where we want to be in November so that we're fighting for a championship. You've had a couple of weeks of preseason under your belt. What have you seen from the team so far? Honestly, what I've seen is a lot of like good hard work. Um, they've responded really well to us when we've challenged them. Um, I love the culture that we've established within our program right now. I think our kids are all on the same page. and. Um, we, we got them the first morning off today, so they're excited to sleep in a little bit. But uh, I think more than anything, we're just excited about the progress that they've made over this week and um, just the, the hunger that we've seen out of them to continue to get better. It's a pretty familiar group. You add in a couple of freshmen, a couple yep. of transfers, but for the most part, the core from last season is still the same. Yep. With those returnees, how have you seen them grow from, say, last November yeah. to now? Well, I think the big thing is, is with COVID, you know, obviously that's been the big story for the last couple of years, but um, this is the first time our junior class has had a spring to train and have some low impact errors and just kind of get the opportunity to feel like they can get better without a point or a match being on the line. And um, I felt like what we've seen from them is them going from underclassmen to upperclassmen over the spring. And I've seen a lot of maturity from them and um, just a little bit more steady, confident style of play from our junior class, especially. And, and I think that's huge for us, just having that opportunity to, to develop and, and feel like they belong here and that this is their program now. You also add in a new staffer, Justin Dewitt, comes over from Creighton where he had a couple of NCAA yeah. tournament runs. Mm -hmm. What does he bring to the program? Um, uh, first of all, if you've met him yet, it's a ball of energy. <laughs> yeah. So um, just really great personality, is so good at connecting with people. Um, and I think you'll see a little different style to us this year too. Um, we've changed some things defensively a little bit and it's nice to, obviously it's nice to have continuity within the staff, but it's also nice to have um, new eyes and a fresh perspective on some things. And I, I think we were really excited to have that this year. Sarah Bullock and Tyreek McIntosh also back being remiss to not miss and them. Nice to have them back in the yeah. fold for another year. How about that? Yeah, we're just really excited. Um, I, I feel like our staff is very complimentary to each other. We, we all bring something a little different to the to the table. And um, I think it's we, we work well together. So we're excited about that. Coach, you get a lot of opportunities right here in Pritchard. 13 home matches, including the Stony Brook invite yep. at the beginning of September. You bring in the likes of Georgetown, Maryland, yep. USF. How about that home schedule that you have on tap? It's a great one. I mean, I think if you haven't been to Pritchard and seen volleyball um, yet at this point, this is the opportunity to get in here and do that. Um, we have a really great home slate. There's a ton of opportunities to get into our gym. Um, we think that this can be a really rowdy environment. And I think if people come early in the year, They'll, they'll understand that volleyball is fast paced and dynamic and it's a ton of fun and it's high energy and they'll want to come back. Cannot wait. First opportunity is August 26th against Quinnipiac, 6 p.m. first serve for Stony Brook Volleyball. Coach, always a pleasure to catch up. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks, Sam.